Hello. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Let me know. The YouTube's giving me some odd feedback here on my studio screen. If you guys can hear me, if everything looks all right, if you could let me know, I would really appreciate it because it sure looks strange on my uh, on my side. But I can see what is up, Eric, Zach, Judah, Jason, Ben Occur. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate you letting me know. Um, and you can see me fine. It's really looking weird over there. I I'm not going to... I'm not going to look at it too much, maybe, uh, but it looks really strange. Audio and visuals look good. Thanks, Eric. How's everyone doing? How's the first day of Battlegrounds? I am pumped up. As you know, yeah, hopefully you saw, hopefully you saw, hopefully you're aware I am hosting a large, we've got 32 summoners in the first ever Vega Battlegrounds Championships. Yes, Championships. There'll be multiple. There'll be multiple. It's going to be a series. This first one was already off. We did the draw and in the stream and I talked about it and, and I wasn't trying to be facetious. There was no shade or anything like that and in fact i think kabam john was on the stream right and i was like we're gonna start the tournament a week after we're gonna we're gonna look for to start the tournament a week after uh, battlegrounds goes live because uh, it's a brand new mode of the game like i used to play the world of warcraft relatively competitively this is like in the, the original and then the first and second uh releases of it and like you knew you knew you do not schedule a raid the day of maintenance or an update. You just don't do it. You're asking for problems. You're going to gather, I think it was 30 people, right? You're going to have your strategies, your plans. You're all going to go farm your resources. You're going to set aside the time. And then you're going to get into the dungeon and something's going to go horribly, horribly wrong. And you'll have no one really, truly to blame but yourself because it's happened before. You knew this. You knew this. So what, what are the bugs? What are they going on? I'm sure there's some. I was watching Campo's stream earlier. I was having a great time watching that. And I know he or he ran into a few. It seems like maybe something's going on with the climbing of the ladder. If you guys could let me know, I would very much appreciate it. And then also, I need your help. We're going to be, uh, I, I would like to at least, in my group, my I'm in group A for my Battlegrounds tournament. This one's called the Illuminati Invitational. I had some fun with that. I have three incredibly skilled players in my group. Uh, uh, MP Blaze, who I'm sure you know from his war videos. He's on MCOST Illuminati. Slaymon, again, from War Videos, GT40, multiple-time war champion, and then Slayer of Gods. Like, the guy has the record for the most like, consecutive hits in this game ever, and it's some absurd number. I struggle to get, like, 10 in a row, uh, and he's in the thousands. My goal is to beat one of them. I want to be the reason one of them doesn't make it into the pool play. That is my goal. Uh, of course, I want to win. I'm going to continue to try to win. I would like to go 3-0. and oh. But I will be disappointed if I don't beat at least one of them. And to do that, I need to practice some champions. So we're going to do that today. We're going to get better at this game. And uh, and also, you know, on Saturday, I want to do an updated Battlegrounds rankings for people who are doing the Bulwark meta, because that will be the meta for most people through for the whole month, if I'm understanding that properly. Uh, so I want to get that out uh, for everyone. So we're going to test a lot of different champions today. So if you guys can let me know, uh, we're going to be doing that. BG, Bugs and Bam, COC, Blasphemy. That's right, Judah. They are. I hate to be the breaker of bad news for you. What's up, uh, Tivanza? How you doing, my friend? K-Dog. General Vega, Private K-Dog, reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, Dot? How you doing, my friend? Carlos. Carry on. How you doing, man? All right. Cool. Small bug with ladder climbing, like you mentioned, but refreshing seems to solve it. Refreshing the game? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So here's my first issue. Let me, and let me know if it's refreshing the game. Read the nodes before using CGR. <laughs> yeah. I, I did do one match before I uh, streamed just to make sure it was working at all uh, and to get a deck going. And uh, the, my poor opponent, I don't think they had known the nodes yet. I don't think they had known the nodes. Uh, they they had CGR and they there's someone else. I don't even remember who it was. They did trip me up, though, by using Iron Man Infinity War. I really didn't have a good plan for him. So we'll see. Okay, uh, I really want to get, um, I think it's Black Cat. I would really like to get Black Cat in. I, I know how, I pulled her early. I knew how to play her well enough to get out a video on her, kind of give my thoughts, my impressions, where we thought we are going. I thought it'd be more interesting to uh, keep an eye on the rebalancing prog uh, process, how that all worked out, but uh, there really didn't be much to do, right? She wasn't like dominating the game. There's nothing crazy. Uh, rebalancing, they were just like, yeah, she's good. <laughs> so uh, we didn't make a ton more videos on that, but I feel like the nodes that we're looking at, there is, there's a real shot for her to be a menace. I'm going to need to learn how to play her a little bit better, though, just kind of getting that that uh, kind of muscle memory and that strategy going. I don't know how else to explain it besides that. Uh, Messiah, what's up, my friend? <laughs> Messiah for God mode, let's do it. Let's go. Uh, Dot, you love that? Yeah, I think Black Cat, I think there's some real potential with her here. 
Um, you just got to know how to play her. No, spin. So one of my strategies is I, I, I lean on my roster, right? Again, this isn't some sort of humble brag if you're the first time you've attended one of my streams or your first time you've watched one of my videos, something like that. It's not a humble brag. I just, I have a large roster. I just do, okay? And so I'm going to lean into that. And one of the things I have found that helps me significantly when I'm really trying to do well in Battlegrounds is I don't have AA and I do not have a Human Torch. And then I just immediately ban them. And the reason I do that is because those champions have, um, for me anyways, they often have the ability to just like win a match for someone that I think otherwise they wouldn't. My raw, it like kind of decreases my roster advantage in a way. Cause even like a rank two Archangel, you know, with SIG one can get that nice, easy win for someone. And so it, I, it doesn't make my rank three SIG like 160 Archangel useless but I think it really minimizes that advantage. So I, 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 I ban them. And then as you're looking at this, like, honestly, I want to get Black Cat in here. Uh, let's see, where is she? She should be there somewhere. Or did I already put her in and I, and I forgot about it? That'd be embarrassing. Oh no. Can you imagine the egg on my face in that scenario? Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't get her in. Let's see. There's Elsa. There's Black Cat. Okay. And I'd like to get Joe in here too. But I honestly don't know who to remove. That Bishop is a rank four. He's a menace. He causes problems for people when he's placed on defense. Um, Masakari good for this one? I I thought the other way around. Uh, with him wanting to hit blocks so much. I'm not a Masakari pro though, I think. Um, thanks, Spin. It's a little counterintuitive. I was talking with Tom, uh, TJ, T Tom Jarvis. A bit, and he gave me some other ideas. He's obviously one of those players who's been in like the top five perennially. So I, I have to give it some, uh, some thought, some credence, some gravity to what he told me. But uh, so far, this has worked out well for me. Uh, Zach, even with a smaller roster, I ban Torch and Arcane and do not include my deck. I, I think it's a thing. I, I, I think it's a thing. That was a profound statement. Um, I think there's some, I think there's some merit to it. I, I guys, I don't. Don't know who I should remove. Maybe Spider Ham. If anyone's got a strong like, hey, try try removing this champion. Uh, I would very much appreciate it. Mystics being so good because of the node itself, right? You can hit the block, get those buffs up, and then uh, nullify them or what have you. Uh, just YouTube. So I have a lot of mystics because mystics are so powerful. I've also included a lot of science to take that out, to fight them, to counterbalance that. I uh, would consider removing a mortal abomination. Maybe warlock, maybe warlock. Cause you can, you can't armor break him. He can't armor break. So I'm, I'm basically just using him for defensive purposes. What do you guys think? Anyone have strong thoughts on that? I think Warlock is the one. He's like, not the weak link, but he I think he's the weakest of these champions. I want to test out Wong. Uh, I was tipped off by an incredibly smart player. Infamous, infamous. Incredibly smart player. He is in the tournament too. Uh, to maybe check that out. So I think we're going to remove, I think we're going to remove Warlock. As, as odd as that sounds, I think that's who I'm removing. Warlock spin, you agree with that? Uh, Eric saying move out Mr. F. Because of, I, I, he was another one I was thinking of. Uh, not gonna lie. I'd also like to eventually get Cap Sam in and then Joe, but let's go with this. Let's actually play a few rounds. Let's actually play a few rounds. Yeah, I like Warlock's immunities. I do too. I do too. All right. Here we go. I have not figured out what the smart way to use these elder marks or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm never going to buy any, but um, it is my intention to be thrifty, to be thrifty. Uh, I, I, I want to I, I want to compete. I want to enjoy. I want to put on a good show. I want to have fun. I want to test stuff out. Uh, so I, I don't know how much of that I'll be doing. All right. So it looks like I need to hit this button. And uh, let's see who we get. 
I like your slow attacker. Yeah, Eric, oh, uh, the other thing with the way, with the increased health pools now, and these nodes, these nodes are not, they're not, these are not kidding around nodes. Uh, I have found that, well, let's see. My theory is that my, my, uh, my tactic of using as many dual threat champions as possible uh, will really pay off here. Now, uh, I think that, you know, time will tell. And I, I think we're talking about percent percentile type stuff. You know, I don't think it's going to be like 100%. We're talking like 55%. You know, I'm shooting to win 60% of my matches, that sort of thing. I think over time it'll pay off. So uh, let's see. Uh, I'll start playing once the tears bugs get sorted out. Yeah, yeah, okay. I like to talk too much, so... Uh, with Battlegrounds, can't talk t quite as much. Uh, but here you go. You guys are seeing my my genius strategy. Okay, they don't even have Human Torch. So that's the other negative to my strategy. Is uh, there are times where... Okay, so their roster is not massive, but let's see here. Let's not let's not take that for granted. Oh, see, they got Doom, which means I banned my own Doom. Which I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, let's go with Killmonger. I saw they still had CGR in there, which makes me think they might not be aware of the nodes. Uh, so they picked Fury. Always good. Always, always good. Curious to see the metas where he's not good. Not a huge fan of Red Mags either. I gotta stop reading the chat. I gotta stop. Don't let me keep doing it, guys. Um, all right. I want to... Uh, yeah, this will be good. We're gonna bring in Wong. This is what I want to test. I'm not even that good with Wong. So not only am I testing whether he's going to be helpful in this mode, I'm also just trying to get better at him. We'll see how that actually plans, uh, how that actually plays out. Um, I think we're gonna bring in, um, bring in the pig and Mr. Fantastic. I want to see if he can do anything. Since we were uh, Eric, since you brought up kind of removing him, and I was kind of on that ledge too, I was on the precipice of removing him. I want to kind of test that out. Yeah, so they're bringing in Thing and CGR. So we'll bring in Hit Monkey to handle that thing. And um, you know what? Uh, I want to get better with Dragon Man, and he's a good, def he's a decent defender. If a good opportunity to re uh, use him doesn't come up, uh, Daniel, read you. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else from you, but write it again, though. It's not spam if I just don't see something, you write it again. In, in this stream, anyway, that's not spam. All right, so we're going to start off with Killmonger, and we'll see if they place CGR. That'll let us know. Maybe they're just not aware of the nodes, or maybe they just feel like CGR, and they're going to figure out a way to make it work. They might be able to. Uh, last second change to thing. We'll go with hit monkey. All right, let's see how this goes. Wouldn't it be funny if I get my butt kicked right now? I think that oh, I, that's the other thing to learn. That's the other thing about the, this mode, man. I've learned so much from playing people and be like, oh, wow, that was a really smart use of this champion. Dot, that's how I'm going into, but I've learned to not be overconfident in this mode because I think that going in and then someone just whoops my butt. See, I already forgot about the node. I'm talking about not knowing the node, and I already forgot about it.
All right, I'd like to bait this SP-1 so I can punish it and then send him over bar power. Oh, no. I'm going to do this to myself. Well, despite that poor display, I think I think we should still get it just because of the other matchup. Mysterio is an auto ban for you since you can't armor break him. So that's another thing I do want to start getting into is I have a variety of champions I'm considering ranking up. So again, I'm going to keep referencing this tournament that I'm hosting because I'm putting a lot of time and energy and resources into it. And uh, and I think it's exciting too. As Mysterio is one I'm considering ranking up. Definitely Emma Frost I'm considering ranking up. In the tournament, because we have to use the friendly mode, the Bulwark node will stay for the first... Uh, I think three weeks of the tournament because I think we're going to start in a week from today. So it's not going to shift with that. I think it's the gladiator circuit. I'm still learning the terminology. Uh, but I think Emma will even be good potentially for next week with that evade chance. I think she might be really good. Uh, and then just those standard defensive rank ups like Mysterio, I'm sorry, Mephisto, uh, Modoc, that sort of thing. But again, with the increased health pools and the time, like I, I may just... Uh, Let's let the rest of this go. But this might be one of those matchups where I'm talking about using these dual threats really works into what I'm trying to do. Uh, I don't think they have a great option for uh, Dragon Man. So we're going to go with Dragon Man. So happy with your Arthur Yama. How's she working out? I mean, I, I hate fighting Emma if I cannot armor break her. If I can't armor break her, I, it's like... A lost cause. Let me get through. Uh, let me get this this matchup done because I see some interesting comments there. Like uh, Tivanza, I, I'd like to chat. I'd like to chat that out. I really would. Uh, I don't. It's not a disagree or agree, hard agree or disagree. I kind of want to learn, get some people's perspectives on this, that kind of thing. I'm going to have no one to blame but myself for this loss. There we go. Got a repair in. Falter was on. Uh, I was trying to keep my... my uh, Spider nonsense high with that first heavy, but it really cost me. And then not being able to reparry him really did a number. Let's see if we got that in before the falter. We did. Oh, man. Poor Spider Ham. And with Dot here, too. I am sorry, Dot. I am sorry. I just made him look so bad. That's an ideal matchup for him. Jose, seriously, man, like, if you think that stuff affects me, I'm really sorry to tell you it doesn't. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, did we still win? We still got to win. Again, this is what I was talking about, the roster. So um, the with the lower, with the lower, uh, with the higher health pools, I feel like the dual threats help more and more and more, at least for me, right? Being able to use a champion for anything is so helpful. Being able to play some offense, defense, and not having to be like, oh, shoot, I've just got like this solidified defender. I'm not going to be able to use them. It just causes problems for other people. Again, remember, my my goal is to win like 60% of my matches. I'm not trying to win all of them. Like in that ham one, I should have won that. That's an ideal matchup for Spider Ham. Uh, to Bonds, I hate to say it, but BG is not worth it for free to play. It's so exciting. But outside of friendly matchups, I probably won't be wasting my time. See, that sucks to hear, man. And I don't mean that sucks to hear in that, like, you're wrong. I'm not telling you you're wrong. I think there's a lot of time to still go with how the... Re I assume because you're talking about the reward structure. 
how the rewards are going to be structured and like the incentivizing of like just pure playing um just pure playing it versus like trying to win i mean any mode where you can kind of like strategically tank or something like that like i, I don't that's not fun i don't think that's fun for anyone uh, but why like why what is it that's happening that makes you not want to even just go and do what I'm doing? Is it because like it'll waste your your energy? And I don't mean your energy as like a human. I mean the energy in game because uh, there's there's nuance to the reward structure. That I will tell you, I don't fully understand. I know they've updated them. And uh, I think the po did the post go out today. Can anyone confirm? I'm pretty sure it did. If the post went out today about um, about here guys let me look it up let me see if i can find it because i you guys know i am in the ccp so there's like a bunch of stuff we can't say uh and i don't want to spoil anything i also would rather not get kicked out of the ccp uh let me look and see if i can find it i'm pretty sure it went out Uh, Battlegrounds, Reward. Revealed. Let's see. That's September 9th. What's the date today? The day's the 12th. So that's the initial thing. Dude, I don't know how to even work these forums. I, I'm never on them. I'm never on them. Uh, okay. Well, until someone can confirm it for us, I'll just I'll do my best to dance around the topic. There's some other stuff within the rewards that will eventually be coming um, that I think will also help make people be like, I want to win. Like I'll, uh, for me, honestly, I uh, I don't mind losing. I like competing. Like I'm the guy that will go out there and we'll play basketball and I will try so hard to beat you because I want to win. And if I don't. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, you only won because I like slipped on the ground. No, I lost because I lost. You beat me. Congratulations. Let's go get a beer. Like, that's me. And so, like, not that I would play Battlegrounds for no rewards at all. I would probably still do it because this is a fun stream and people enjoy it. Um, but I, I wasn't the guy who's, like, really fussed over if some loser. <laughs> sorry, that's just how I think of it. If some loser wants to spend $1,000 on units so they can like continuously lose. I'll be like, all, all right, man, that's cool. Like, I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, let's say I'm not trying to demean. It's just uh, cause normally people think you two are amazing people. I am an amazing person. Uh, and it puts them down a bit and it puts them down a bit, but she's a good human. Oh man. Yeah. I don't know how many of my videos you've watched. I like my, I just put out a war video where I was like, look, the whole point of me making war videos isn't to tell you I'm good at the game. I'm fine. I'm probably better than your typical player. It's to show you guys how good that champion is. Like, I'm trying to teach, I'm trying to show. And to, I think the point you're trying to make here, I 100% want people to be like, okay, I don't have to be, I don't want to say anyone's name because I don't want to make it sound like they do that. I don't have to be this amazing, insane player. I can still go out and have a ton of fun in this game. What just happened? Someone back out, someone must have backed out. All right. So yeah, that's your point, man. I am with you. Um, except for Battlegrounds, especially since I'm taking a break from my alliance for a bit. Yeah, that's the thing, though, right? Like with these, uh, these the reward system, like they really seem to want you back in the alliances, which it does make sense on a lot of levels, right? Like that helped create sticky players. What I mean by sticky is people who are less likely to just bounce because they get frustrated with something or just put the game away. The more socially involved you are, the more likely to stick around. Like how many people say like, well, I play because I enjoy playing with my friends. All right, after, uh, after having not gotten enough bands in the last time, I need to concentrate on this. Another no Archangel. That is really blowing my mind right now. Okay. Uh, I do not like fighting Darkhawk. So B. McG and his Darkhawk uh, will be getting banned. And um, I don't find myself wanting to hit Korg's block anyway. What just happened? I guess I took too long again. I took too long again. So again, no doom. Uh, let's go make a Sentinel. So still a lot of CGRs. I think people just have them ranked up, and so they're excited to use them, or maybe they're not. They're not sure what the nodes are yet, so that's fine. Uh, gotta go with Mr. Moo. 
And um, I think Penny. Penny's going to be such a menace in this mode. I really think she is. It's the whole strategy on how to beat her is hitting that block to get that shield down. I don't know. I don't know how people are going to... Without a gallon, I, I, I don't know. I'm curious. If you guys have strats for uh, Penny, let me know. Uh, I think Thing? Should I try to redeem myself with Spider Ham? That was so bad last time. Uh, now let's bring in Wong. I'm hoping I'm hoping I can convince someone to to place a Hercules, and we can use our Wong, whip out our Wong and and use him. I'm not that good with him though, so we'll see. Ah, uh, so they're bringing their Penny. Hopefully, we can get our Hulkling or our Gallon, because I mean it. I don't know how else to to, to beat her without them. Uh, I guess we could try Magneto. And, um, uh, I mean, as much as I don't like it, Hercules is overpowered. He got a good draft. My deck was definitely superior just because of my roster. But he got a nice draft. Or he or she, they. I guess we should learn to say they. Um, uh, Mag still works for her. Beautiful. Thank you, Gabriel. Or Gabriel. Um... See, I'm going to pick Penny because I think she's going to be a pain, but he's probably going to pick his Hercules, which means I'm not going to get to test my Wong. Just want to use my Wong. Uh, nukes can still get Penny down, I think. Used to do it with Blackwood in the beta. Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, who am I going to use? I guess I'll try my Hercules. Should have used Mags after Gabriel and I just agreed. This is why I shouldn't read the chat too much. You just found the channel. Thank you so much, uh, Kodal. Uh, uh, oh, Koda, sorry. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the different views. Yeah, I know. Uh, that is a little confusing for some people. Like, this happened with the last uh, Battleground stuff. People are like, dude, well, why don't you make, like, an outrage video on this? Like, aren't you outraged? Well, I guess I'll get to that in a minute. I think I'm probably going about this all wrong. Yeah, this already isn't feeling like a good idea. Yeah, this is not a good idea. Hmm. I kind of almost want to just let myself die. Because uh, they deserve to win this matchup. gonna go crazy yeah uh, I'm excited to look up at the chat and see if there was a good strategy for that to use her I mean yeah at some point it was just like I just want to go get unblockable as quickly as possible sometimes going to block is <laughs> any strat <laughs> immortality help me yeah and if I'm missing something so they, they had a good score. I wonder what they did. Was their score good? I was reading the chat and said. Um, maybe that was it. What uh, Sibian's saying is just let her hit my, or just let her, um, just go ahead and hit her block. Just have that be the idea. All right. Uh, let's go with Magneto. Then we'll chat a little bit. Let's get this matchup done and then we'll chat a little bit. Uh, go ahead and put on Cowardice. I think she starts with Cowardice, though. Yep, she does. So we good. Scores are basically the same. Oh, okay. I looked up too late. 
Yeah, and that's what I'm wondering if that's actually a good idea is to just go ahead and eat that, knowing that it's what's going to happen. All right, this should just be a matter of shifting our uh, weapons or whatever. Getting to the SB2 and saying good day. Although I did mess that up a bit. Let's see if we can get a repair in here. Nope. Yeah, this is my fault. See if we can just end her and uh, make up for our mistakes. That was my fault for getting the cowardice off, and then she was able to phase. They just went immortal faster. Let's talk about that. So, if anyone, if I forget to talk about that after this matchup, let's talk about that because I'm interested in that. And then I was also talking about, um, oh, like my different views, my different takes, and like how I kind of felt about the the rewards of the battlegrounds and how that worked out. I'm glad it's changed. If that's not abundantly clear, I'm glad they've updated it. Uh, but why I wasn't like overly fussed and why I didn't get a video out. Mastery presets aren't working. Plus, Trek, if I read it correctly, they're also like a full Odin to get. Uh, did I see that correctly? I didn't even, once I saw, I saw a screenshot. I didn't have a chance to validate if it was accurate or not. I was like, uh, I don't think I'm going to be spending an Odin on that. Maybe I will if and when this gets super competitive or something, but I'm not rushing out to do it. Oh, and Spin, I see that you did... Um, you did link that form post. I'll go ahead and read it really quick. Again, once this matchup's over. Larry, we'll kind of try to bundle that question in with some of the other stuff we're talking about. That's a, that's a good question. It's ultimately kind of what I'm trying to wonder too. I'm not always the best like it, uh, at reading a rule set and then being like, ah, here's how I'm going to game the system. Because it's just not how I, th it, it's not me. I know that's going to sound incredibly self-serving, but it's just not how I think. Uh, all right, let's um... You know what? I think my boy Rintra I think my boy Rintra is gonna be a problem although I don't really have a good answer for that void huh. I think that may have been a mistake uh... Yeah, they switched over uh, I guess no time like the present to try out our Wong. I think Kratorian's got me here, though. I think Kratorian has got me. So let's see. This little monkey does not have a lot of life. But I have an idea. I have an idea. Did, at no point did my idea involve getting parried, though. At no point. I also thought that would do a little bit more in damage. Come on, monkey. Ah, uh, see, this is where me not knowing Wong as well. I thought that was going to get me to my SP2. And now I've lost my uh, spell. All right, let's. I'm going to rely on Rintra here. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go full crazy, man. Uh, that's the second time I've messed that up. I think Wong has a potential there. I think if I knew how to play Wong better, that had potential. 
And I should have just been more careful. Rintra's a beast. So him placing those uh, neutralizes is a real problem. He's got so much health. I'm curious how that goes. I have a feeling if I had just played a lot more conservatively, tried to whittle Hit Monkey down a bit more, uh, we probably would have gotten the win. So we'll see. Still lucked out. Uh, looks like you just over. Yeah, I got to practice handling my Wong. It's just a thing, you know? <laughs> Campo had Wong looking pretty good earlier. Uh, nice. I got to check that out. I got to check that out. Campo's such a good player. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wong spells are too damn short. Uh, you know, I don't know. As you can see, I'm not a, I would not consider myself an advanced Wong player. And so I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm not educated enough on Wong, I think, to have a, a good opinion on it. Felt short to me, but I think some of that's because I don't know how, to, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, or maybe it was infamous. I can't, I, I could, you know, I, it's, there's no fault in uh, confusing Infamous and Campo. They're both insanely smart, skilled players. Um, Spinnaker. Oh, yeah. Back to that post. It's just a melting of relics coming into the future. Yeah, guys. So that's the thing. And I, I don't know if everyone knows that is relics are supposed to be one of the things that's a big deal about Battlegrounds. And you're, I think the idea is, and I think they say it in the post, is like, that's going to be part of the ranked rewards. And I don't mean for like the events of like the solo or whatever. I mean, like, you scoring high, you continuously winning matches, you making it to that highest circuit, I think it's called like the gladiator circuit, is supposed to be those relics. And those relics are supposed to be very, very good. Now, assuming that's accurate and that's true, and that's the way we're, we're being told, I think that alone will get very competitive people or people who want to play on that super competitive edge, right? Like even me, um, you know, I've never claimed to be one of the best players in the game, but I'm in four Loki. I like a map eight AQ. I want to do well in battlegrounds. I enjoy the competition of this. That's going to push me to uh, to try to get on that board. If anyone wants to get smoke? Oh, OG Highland coming out talking smack already. I love it. And then the uh, the thing is like, I get it, man. You know, like different things upset different people. I'm not put. I'm not saying anything negative about people who make outrage videos. What I'm saying is, is like I'm just not always outraged. So once I once I saw a video or was in line chats, like, hey. The scoring system is seeming to incentivize people to lose. I was like, well, that's not good. I still think if some moron, if some loser wants to spend $1,000 to just continuously lose, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more like, cool, dude. Thanks for keeping my game to, free to play. <laughs> like, Thank you for doing that. You, What do you want? You want a six-star waking gem? I'm not competing with you anyway. And as, you're, as long as your losing isn't affecting me, like whatever, I'm fine with it. I get why it bothers some people. And so I'm glad that they're taking steps to rectify that sort of thing. That and the fact that, like, I'm a family man. I have a full-time job. I'm on my lunch break right now. I'm a, and I have a family. I have a wife, two kids. And so, like, Saturday morning when all this started to kind of become revealed and we're like, oh, dude, this court system sucks. I could either, like, go to the park with my kids or I could stay and make that video that, like, three other people. I'm aware of three content creators. I know uh, Brian Grant, uh, K21, and legacy either already had or were going to make a video and i was like i'm not going to take my time i'm not going to i'm not going to not go to the park so i can make the video that i think those three guys will probably cover exceptionally well uh oh you know what i wanted to get to Vonza's thing if we can get i wasn't to Vonza, uh saying that like they don't they're not going to do the mode at all let's get back to that because i know a lot of people tuned in to actually see some matchups i do need to get better with my wong though that is for sure you can tell i'm not an experience Wonging. Uh, you're outraged by Wong gameplay and still getting a win? Maybe that's the outrage video I should make. And I do make them. You'll see me do it. I, I, if you go to my... Uh, uh, a couple people ask me about it. I'm like, look, you need to see the playlist where I make them. I think just, you know, it's just not... I think what my... Uh, I think that's not what my channel is known for. Uh, Lag's video is pretty good. I liked his best. Enjoyed both views. I, 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 like, I like all of those guys. To be honest, um, I don't know Brian Grant as well as I know the other two. All right, let me do this so I don't ban my own doom again like I keep doing. This might be a recoil tree user too as I look at it. But we still got to get rid of Archangel. We still got to get rid of Human Torch. It has to happen. And uh, I'm going to assume this is a recoil tree user. And so they're not going to get to use their Diablo. Yeah. You don't get to do it. Uh, they Everyone keeps banning my Quicksilver. It's really annoying. 
Um, there, I saw Sauron, so as much as I'd like to practice my Black Cat, uh, I think we have to bring in our Nimrod. So, yeah, I don't like Sauron. Thanks, Troy. I appreciate that, man. That was very kind of you to say. Um, bring in our Herc. And, uh... I just love playing Tigra. I'm a I'm a I'm an above average Tiger player. I'm not I'm far from great, but I just love playing her. Now they've got a Fury. Like right now, I'm not overly concerned with who they have. Bishop is still a problem for Nimrod. And then Fury. You know what? I don't have I don't have Toad anymore. I might need to start working on how I'm gonna do that. Alright. Uh, concentrate. We'll bring in Scorpion. Lock it in. Lock it in, dude. Good. Okay. Uh, I struggled against an Iron Man Infinity War. That was the matchup I did off stream. Here's if they pick him. I did try to use Rintra. I don't know if that was a great matchup. Rintra, with that SIG, he, his fights just get... Uh, they're tough to control. I, I think I put that in this last war video. Or maybe it's one that'll be coming out soon. But I did feel like they were a little tough to control. Um, I think we're going to... Jeez. I do not like the looks of this. We're going to go Doom... And uh, Mr. Fantastic. I'm going to put Mr. Fantastic on defense and see how that goes. I think they outdrafted me here. Can't see the player's name. Uh, Sarmat. I think Sarmat outdrafted me there for sure. I really do. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we'll start off with Scorpion. I think he's just going to smoke Scorpion with Mole Man. Yeah, I I uh, I I will tell you guys. I am at almost at a loss at a, how to go about trying to defeat this person. I think we'll go with Herc. They have they have hoodwinked me. They have bamboozled me. They have outstrated strategized me. What's up, man? I have no idea how to read your name, <laughs> and I apologize. It's like kill a, kill a Kazen, maybe. Either way, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Rintra doing great on defense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Come on, so if I if I forget to go back to that, please, because uh, I appreciate you actually writing. You're taking the time to write this out. I want to get back to that. I'd like to read it and kind of talk it through. All right, so we were right about this being a recoil tree user. So it goes back to like uh, when I'm one of my first CCP early access videos of Herc. Oh, they're not running limber either. So I, I looked out there. Let's get him to throw some specials. Do some of my job for me. Uh, it's too slow on that heavy. It's getting all excited about myself. That's what you get for being a little... Uh, I, I went from confident to cocky. Did not think that first swing would whiff. Great. All right. Got caught by that. Recoil will kill him, though. That was ugly. Let's see how it turns out. Hey, that's like CC. <laughs> Ooh, I would have thought Fury would have handled that by now. That's cur uh I'm surprised by that. Why would Fury not have handled that by now? Does anyone have any? What's up, Cyrus? <laughs> not a new. Anyone have a theory as to what could possibly have gone wrong there? Unless it was just like a gameplay mistake. Like, obviously, I just made one.
I want to see this result. Thanks, Cyrus. Uh, Mr. Fan's great on he, he is, Kazuri. I, I agree. Uh, I got my butt handed to me by someone placing the Mr. Fantastic on defense. And I guess uh, you have to go back in the stream quite a bit. Whereas, like, I've learned the most from getting my butt kicked. <laughs> uh, lots of Bane specials. Scorpion usually stingy with specials for me because of... Interesting. Interesting. That's cool, man. I'm happy to hear that. I mean, as a Scorpion player. <laughs> as someone who has a Scorpion. Um, uh, interesting. We're back in this. We're back in this. I hope they place... I don't know who I hope they place. Um, I think we're... Although, I think Mole's just going to destroy him. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna full concentrate here, guys. <clears throat> Already messed up, but he's got that slow recovery. I messed up. That's what I was talking about, about being a, an, an advancing Tiger player and not a great one. Yeah, shouldn't have done that. I know his matchup's going to go quick, so that's why. Uh, pretty much given up, which I shouldn't do. Let's get our stances back up. Yeah, this wasn't pretty at all. This can be done. I've done this fight quite quickly before. I uh, I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. What's up, Slaymon? How you doing, my friend? At least you don't have to. I yeah. I just I I messed that one up bad, badly, badly, badly. I was really concentrating because I think that was my one window to try to win this one. I got out drafted and outplayed. All right, let's see. We can we can pull something out. We can pull something out. Um, I think we go with our boy Nimrod here. Maybe should have placed Doom. Actually, yeah, should have placed Doom. Live and learn. Live and learn. Trying to decide if I even got a shot here. I think I might. And there it went.
Gotta love that. Huh, it was like I couldn't parry at all. That was really fun. Don't hit Holly has bleed. Yeah, Slay, I, I didn't go into that matchup. Uh, I was trying to figure out what to do because he's a recoil user. Do you think it's worth playing BG when you're just uncollected? No, I want to get back to that part of the conversation where we're talking about, uh, let's get back to Tavanza's, what they're saying. Because I, I don't, I like to read and hear what people have to say about the different modes and the reward systems. Because I can't always put myself in their shoes perfectly. Because to me, I'm like, oh, this seems good. Uh, I, but I also enjoy the mode. So basically being free to play, I already have enough grinding to do. I can allocate the time there's just to be Gs. 4,000 units for extra decks and need to buy elders. I think it's I like can't allocate the time and resources. Can't, yeah, you corrected yourself there too. I do get that. I mean, or I can uh, I can identify with that too. Even myself, where I'm like, I mean, we got a war. Four Lokis now pushing again. We're trying to win these last three wars of the season. We've won, uh, won the last two. We'll probably win this next one. Uh, just based on where we've fallen to, okay? I didn't mean that to sound overly cocky. Um, then you got AQ. You know, if you want to, if you're free to play, you're having to grind arenas. Like, I totally get that. I totally get that, man. I totally get it. Like, maybe it's just something you do for fun, you know? Uh, I think they are trying hard to reward participation. And I think that's where they went too far in the initial rewards that they, uh, the initial reward system they put out. I think it's like any, like, if you think about if you're running a business, right? Like, or if you go to like the grand opening of a place, there's often like a buy one, get one free or 50% off or something to incentivize you. It's called a loss leader, right? Like they'll sell something at a loss or they'll even give it away for free. One, to try to create some goodwill, but also just even get you in the door. And then once you're in the door, they're like, you will now be happy enough with the product that you'll keep coming back. Well, it makes sense. Like if they've got this new mode, a lot of people like on my Discord server, I saw it would say like, look, I don't like the mode because I just lose. I just lose and I lose and I lose and that doesn't feel good, which... I get that, I, I, I respect that. And so I think Kabam went very hard on incentivizing just playing the game. And then you'll get these rewards, hopefully you'll get better at the mode, you'll enjoy it, and then you'll play it more. But they obviously just went too far if they got to the point where, you know, I'm still curious if there would have been people who were like, I'll pay $2,000 to lose. I'm still curious if that would have happened, but you know, we'll never know. And I think this is a better system already. And I think they'll continue to fine tune it. So I get that. I get that. Vega, is there any particular matchups you want to test? I can hop on for some solo friendlies. Uh, I'd love to test Black Cat out some more, but I'm I'm, I'm actually it's it's good for me to get my butt kicked, like there, kind of like what you were saying about don't hit uh, Bishop. Like it just didn't occur to me, you know. So that kind of stuff is helpful, or like just getting my butt kicked by that Nimrod, that sort of thing. So if you want to hop on, like if you want to hop on call or play, yeah, that's that'd be great. But uh, like, don't feel like you need to. I, I appreciate the uh, idea. Uh, I play on an iPhone. My streaming phone is quite a bit older, though. It's probably three or four years old, and I think I will be getting a new streaming phone uh, relatively soon. I don't know if I have Killmonger in my deck. I should go and look at that. Uh, 10 matches. Yeah, I still think that might be a little small, though, man, just because, um, ooh, if I get to use Gallon, I'm excited. Gallon and Teddy, uh, Hulkling, haven't been showing up at all. I need to think your mastery is something recoil should be applied. Yeah, it's all deck dependent. Uh, Slayer, are you running recoil right now? Honestly, it looks better now. I don't feel that salty losing the UI. The UI is nice. I did notice that the, I think the UI looks really sharp. I should pay a little more attention to what I'm doing. I've actually been getting amazing champions. Nope, no recoil. What's up, Nick? How you doing, buddy? Oh, you like the smaller ones. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, you know, I do. There's significantly more input issues on my streaming phone. And it's, it's not just because I'm streaming. Like, I've tried to really uh, monitor, is it because I'm just streaming and I'm talking and, and I'm, you know, screwing around and having fun with everybody? 
or is it because, um, or is it actually the phone? I think it's definitely the phone. Uh, I think it's definitely the phone. Um, let's go with the hood. I'm getting like a great, I was getting all like my best champions and I'm not paying enough attention. <laughs> What's up, Slay? Are you there, bud? Hey man, how's it going? Good. Can you guys all hear Slay? Oh, dude, I, I'm literally no lifing the game today. It's so much fun. Is it fun? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Um, dude, how do you beat Emma Frost? Uh, pray. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, you uh, saw, you know, this weekend I was asking about that. And I was at work, wasn't quite as excited about it. But I was like, I just don't know how you do it. Um, basically, you have to make sure she stays in telepath as much as possible. I think that's essentially the only consistent way to beat her with a dot champion. And that also means having a champion, using a champion that has a good SP1, if that makes sense. Like, like it's worth throwing that SP1. Yeah, maybe I should get through this and then I'll think about it. Um, Cyrus, if you're still there, man, thanks so much for being here, bud. I'm rusty, dude. I'm getting my butt kicked on some, I mean, some stuff I'm just getting outplayed. That's fine. But other stuff, I'm like, I just didn't think, you know, it's been a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, yeah, I, I got uh, my butt handed to me too. I think we have all been. It's just uh, getting Which, used to the mode, and then you'll be a monster. It hasn't been. It hasn't been that long. That's the thing. See, like right here, this is where Rintra fights start to get like. Was that good? I don't know if that was a good idea. The SP one. Yeah, I don't know if I should have thrown it there. No, no, it's good, uh, especially if you. Because the thing is, you don't want to push to SP3, and you have a lot of ruptures, so... Uh, so, uh, so the yeah. person that was just asking about my phone, that right there, like, I, I believe that was a phone issue completely. Unless she was unblockable, and I didn't realize it. But I don't think she goes unblockable. Uh, not that I know of, no. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hulkbuster is a great Emma option. See, I don't know about that, because... Again, every champion is armor break immune, so you can't really do anything about that. About her diamond phase, and also, when she's not armor break immune, Hulkbuster hits too hard. So then he's just always triggering that indestructible. What's up? Uh, what's up, Ted? How you doing? Good, I'm glad we won that one. That was like, uh... I mean... <laughs> Yeah, because Teddy's still going to take that explosive personality damage, right? I was wondering about that one, because that was like, those are some of my favorite champions there, Mega Sentinel, Teddy, and Rintra. And I, I, I like Penny, too. I like Penny, too. Uh, I should pick a defender. I should stop talking and pick a defender. And who do I pick? Hercules, go, quick. Ah, uh, yes, that defender. Hercules. Oh, no. Um... Um, let's try Omega Sentinel. Let's see what happens. Cause she'll she'll uh, she'll throw plasma on uh, on Emma. Yeah, and I don't think Emma's immune to that because plasma came out maybe yeah. after Emma. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to stun her though, so I'm just gonna have to let her hit into my block. Like I don't. Could Hood's Dexdene get through EF? EF. Okay, that right there, I think, is phone for sure. Since since people asked, I, I want to point out like what I yeah, feel no is. Worries. Oh, uh, Emma Frost? Yeah, Josh, I can. Um, the issue is if she gets into what's it called telepath, Hood can't phase. I mean, that's a pretty that's a pretty simple way to work around that. Okay, um, I'm having a lot of phone stuff going on. Like that little backdraft I did before I threw a special? That was weird. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I was wondering. Don't don't ever do that. <laughs> that was not a that was not some sort of pro move. Don't ever dash back before uh, you hit the special button. What's up, easy? Expose Vega likes to be watched while beating heroes. 
So I think we just found the answer to um, uh, Emma, because with the bigger health pools, that was pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. I still lost, but I think you take away my uh, four hit combo into a backdraft special. <laughs> uh, we probably win that, right? Like just looking at the stats. It was close, yeah. yeah. What's up, easy? We'll get this down, then we'll uh, check the chat a little bit. Uh, Nick Fury. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, Gallon's probably the most annoying on defense. Woo! You added on defense there at the last second, and it threw me off. Yeah. Uh, they're running recoil, aren't they? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't paying attention that well. Yeah, me neither. We will, we will find out. Um, yeah, they are. They're running recoil. Dang, sorry. <laughs> this might that might be a quick fight for Omega. Yeah, I think it's gonna. I, I've I've lost. I've lost. It's alright. We'll keep trying because uh, they could make a gameplay mistake. Could be could be anything. Anything could happen. Yeah, honestly, if Gallon gets one dead and they off, it's gonna be it's gonna be close. Uh, Hood can miss in Telepath. She only counters evade, not miss. Oh, really? Okay, TP, you're right. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm still learning Emma. I just took her to rank through myself as well for Battlegrounds. Hopefully they fix the preset mastery soon. I'm mad. Just turn recoil back on and I don't want to switch again. The mastery presets aren't fixed in Battlegrounds? Dang, I didn't even know that was a bug. So I see I can count to fifteen man and I still I, I still I'm so bad against Fury dude. What mm -hmm. it is is that you're finishing combos above ten charges when he has an SP1. And sometimes when you finish combos that gives the AI the permission. And by finishing combos I mean doing double mediums. And that sometimes gives the AI the permission to throw a special. Which is why I I tend to not finish with double mediums against Fury. Double mediums or any mediums? Or just like finishing a combo with a medium attack. Got it. Uh, no, I applied non-recoil on a deck and it ain't working. Dang. Sorry, man. Hit monkey's not gonna kill him there. Ah, well, at least we didn't die. If anything, that was a good fight, anyways. What? Oh. What do we think can happen there? Because my sense was this player knew what they were doing. Um, I mean, I think it was just a detonate got him. Yeah, but isn't his detonate only at like. Uh, is, you think it's still enough to just finish him off? I think what it was is that a detonate got him, he lost a lot of health, then panicked. And then maybe pushed him to SP2. And the SP2 on block does a lot, plus incinerates. Yeah. Uh, Vibranium Knight I probably isn't listening, but if you are, I'm well played, you obviously know what you're doing. So, um, What did we say we wanted to get back to? It was something. I think it was the chat. Yeah. Oh yeah, the chat, that's right. <laughs> it's just kidding. Um, I'm really frustrated with the payroll they've put on this mode. Easy, can you explain that a bit more, my friend? I, I really, I, I'm not arguing with you. I want to try to understand. I really do. And I want to make sure, have you seen the updated uh, rewards system or scoring system and things like that? Because um, I'd like to hear it The through. scoring system is that it has nothing to do with the paywall still. I mean, the scoring system now makes sense and it promotes being competitive, but it still has nothing to do with the paywall in my so, opinion. So what's the paywall? So the paywall essentially is, and this is what's getting everyone frustrated, is that to make progress in the Alliance event and the solo event where you could see the crazy rewards, you need to enter each game you play with Elder's Marks. And the only way to obtain Elder's Marks is either you get a little bit by going through the victory track or you buy them with units. And that's where everyone's frustration is. How little is a little bit? I think it's around, I I think it's like just under less than a thousand Elder Marks, and you need 15 to enter a game. 
So, so what's um, what's the math on that? I mean, knowing you, you've probably already done it. I mean, I, no, I, I honestly didn't look, <laughs> but like, um, I think okay, I think it was 750 Elder Marks. So that's 50 games of Battlegrounds you can play. And the, what everyone has an issue with is that there's going to be people, and this was especially more of a concern before they buffed the rewards. But there's going to yeah. be people who just buy a bunch of Elder's Marks, play a, a lot of games no need to win any of them and make it really high on the alliance event rewards and the solo event rewards and get and reap all the rewards from that but okay while you have the best player on earth and the gladiator track get nothing compared to them first of all one very flattered you just call me the best player on earth thank you uh, <laughs> <laughs> and 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 two is uh are you talking about the old reward system or the new one that uh i think came out today so, so the new one ca that came out today is a lot better yeah but you can essentially a strategy that people have been talking about is that you win one game then tank one game with energy then you win a game with elders marks then tank a game with energy and that way you're able to keep matching easy opponents and get the most out of winning and make the most progress in alliance and solo events but if you do that Mm -hmm. Like I get it. I get people's desire to be efficient. Like, and I, I want. Uh, and I, first of all, I want to make this one clear: Slay and I are friends, so we might disagree, but this is all friendly. Yeah, Two at is, the end of the day, we're still really cool with each other. Yeah, exactly. And we've disagreed before, it, it, but also, I'm not putting down anyone's like hurt feelings. I'm, I definitely empathize with this. Like, this is like anything. This is for me. It feels like when gifting came and everything. I'm like, I feel badly for people. I just might disagree. And. On this one, I'm like, one is I feel like that's, if I'm understanding it correctly, where's the like leaderboard? Meaning like if you are the number one player in Battlegrounds at the end of the season, where is the, where do you see what that person gets? Do you know where that is? Yeah. Yeah. So the victory track, you win a bunch of games, you get to Vibranium, and then you get access to something called the Gladiator Circuit. And the Gladiator Circuit is actually a rank thing. But where so is that though? Number, that's a... Uh, um, after you get through the victory track. No, I mean, like, how can I see that? What that person will get? I, I have still, I haven't been able to find that in game. Oh, think... in game? Uh, I don't think it shows it in game yet because no one's gotten there. Got it. But <laughs> it, it's it's in it's in a post. It's the, it's in a post. They talk about it, and it's essentially there's ranks to it. There's Celestial One, which is the the number one player in Battlegrounds in yeah. that Gladiator Circuit. Yeah. And that's and that's the top reward. And what all you get there is sixty thousand trophy tokens, which is an amazing reward. No, you got to get something besides sixty thousand. You get right. right. What else you get? Come on. That's it. That's, no, I'm genuinely that's it. Top one hundred, I believe, was fifteen thousand trophy tokens. And what what do you buy with the trophy tokens? Well, you go to the battleground store. I hate all these stores. <laughs> just if you go to the it says get the goods battleground store you know how uh you know how like if you ever like you're in like the verizon store or at t or whatever like cell carrier you use or is in your, your yeah. country and like there's like the iphone and then they have like the old person phone with like the really big buttons there's only like three functions <laughs> that's the store i need I, I just need the like the old man vega store like i get it i see this is all very cool yeah. But I need the store for the old man who needs bifocals. That's what I need. Um, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, maybe we can get zero on to discuss that. <laughs> yeah. But this is this is what you can get right here with your tokens, and I believe they all have a weak refresh. So wait a minute. Um, You're telling me that the person who's the number one player, ranked player at the end of the season, all they get is like this. Yep, that's it. Number one ranked person, they get 60,000 tokens, plus whatever they've earned on the way through the victory track to spend in the store. Uh, and w the biggest flaw with these rewards, especially, is that you get like maybe twelve to 15,000 yeah. a month before you get the payout from the rank one rewards. So you buy a lot of our formats, you can maybe make one or two purchases in a month before you get the big drop at the end of the season. And, and 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 on top of what's on top of that, like again, top 100. If I'm run, if I'm remembering it correctly, a top 100 player in Battlegrounds gets like 15k trophy tokens or 20k for being a top 100 player in that Gladiator circuit. Yeah, without there being a bigger, I thought I must have just brutally misread the post, which I'm open to the idea of. Uh, I, I really am. I'm not arguing there. That's not a sarcastic mark. 
Um, it feels like there should be more. Like either you you should be earning a ton along the way for winning, or the like ranked one player like should get like an awakening gem and two hundred six stones and you know like a hundred thousand six star shards or something like that or like a rank four gem or. Um, I know they mentioned that that relics. You know, I'm glad they went public with that. That relics yeah. will eventually be coming. That's going to be part of the ranks. Is, and I think those are going to end up being really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but that that doesn't change now, right? That right. changes later. Exactly. And the rewards you're talking about that a rank one player maybe should get are all locked behind getting as many Elder Tokens as possible and playing with those Elder Tokens. And that requires units rather than um, like, I don't want to say people who do that aren't skilled, because that's just not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it, it requires much less skill to do that than to be first. Well, I, I appreciate this. A couple things. One is, you're very smart, and I appreciate the way you're going about this. And two, I appreciate you not building a straw man. Because so often, like, you know me, I'm like, oh, whenever these arguments come up, everyone talks about, like, this crazed whale, this crazy evil whale who's going to, like... <laughs> They're like some multimillionaire on their yacht. It's like everyone's picturing Jeff Bezos on his yacht. And he's like, I'm putting millions 24 hours a day. Yo, this is all I got to do. And you're like, that's not how Jeff Bezos is spending his time. <laughs> like, it's just not, you know? Uh, and Dude, I appreciate whales are awesome, man. Like, like some of the most fun players I've ever played with in this game are whales. Like, I don't want them to not do well in this game and to not spend and stuff. But I, just, I think there should be like some sort of balance, right? There, there should be. Like, and, and now it... it, it I'm assuming you're correct. So under this is some because I see PWF. What's up, PWF? What's up, work? How you doing, my friend? Uh, and everyone else in the chat. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, even I'm like, uh, okay, it still needs some work. I do think Kabama said that though. They're like, this isn't the final iteration. I also think like, we, I feel like we've seen this before, right? Yeah. How many years have we been playing this game? Six, seven, something like that. Like. I mean, I'm still hoping that Alliance War rewards are going to get a massive buff for next season. I'm operating under that impression that it's just going to take time. Like, it's this isn't what's happening. This isn't CCP knowledge, guys. Right? This is just me and Slay talking here. So I'm not, I'm not giving you some inside info. It's just my opinion, having played this game for so long. It's like this is the initial offering. It's like a negotiation, yeah. and and the initial offering they're heavily incentivizing participation because it's the new mode it's exciting like they've clearly put a ton of time into this look i mean look how many people are attending streams you know and the more people they can get playing it the better get people to uh, to enjoy it and kind of get over like if you remember a lot of the beta the negative beta feedback we'd see on the discord server was i went in i lost four matches in a row this sucks i suck i don't want to ever play again and like that's no good right and so if you're aware that that's your player base's mentality Right. If like even if, if even only half of the player base feels that way about the game and yet you've invested a lot into it at the other, you know, let's say most competitive 10 percent is in love with it. If you can if you can incentivize that other 50 percent or that 90 percent to play it like I get it. It just feels like it's skewed too far that way, even still, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. What I would what I will say about this is the reason I'm not raising the apocalypse alarms about this is because this again, like you said, this is still the first season. Yeah. So Kabam needs to figure everything out, and and this is this is obviously they need time. They're they're humans at the end of the day, mm -hmm. and also there's still some hope that they actually do care. Because I because I I've been seeing this everywhere. Wait. How about they don't care? They just want your money. And yeah, they, that's you know, not. But they genuinely do care. I think if. Yeah. If they were truly evil, yeah. which they're not, yeah. they would have monetized, somehow monetized or put an energy into friendlies. And they didn't. They said, yeah. we care about the game. We want people to be able to play as many friendlies as possible. And I think that's a huge pro player move. And I, the other thing that shows this is yeah. that they made a change as fast as possible to the solo and alliance events. It's not a perfect change, but it's something. So I think everyone, we just need to be patient. Yeah, um, there's only so much I, I I think at liberty to say. And if you were here earlier in the stream, you know you, you heard me say like one of the reasons I didn't make a video on this was one is I was already aware of two people making the video. I was aware I was pretty sure Labs was going to make one. They were going to cover it all. And but also like I, I, I'm a family man. I have a full time job. I'm a family man. I was going to I was taking my daughters to some things. We were having some fun. My wife and the whole thing. 
And I'm like, should I take an hour to make a well thought out and make an outline for this thing? It was just an hour, literally just an hour. And I was like, no, the other people are covering it. I already put out champion rankings. It'll get covered. It's fine. I can say with 100% confidence that Kabam employees did not take that attitude on this. They definitely care. Uh, they were definitely working. Um, so yeah, thanks for saying that, Slays. And Slays not in the CCP or anything like that. And yeah, so if anyone has yeah, questions on that. I think the other way, which yeah. is why everyone was shocked when I said this. But it, yeah, I really do feel this way. No well, one paid me, I promise. <laughs> you're, you're a smart person with nuance and logic. Um, so let's do some more. The roads are almost in. That's usually, uh, Peter, though, that just shows like kind of how you are, though, my friend, because obviously our alliance is going to score very well in those. I, I think, anyways. Uh, I think our alliance is going to score really well, but I think you're saying that um, just as a whole, you're not satisfied with it if you look at it. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do this matchup. I'm still sticking with my strategy of banning Archangel and Human Torch whenever I see them. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good strat. Dude, but this is like, I have multiple times run into this where the person doesn't, oh, there's Human Torch. Where the, uh, so forget that. But many times I have run into people not having them. Right. Um, I think one of the things that people are really missing, I mean, that people are missing on in their rosters is that a lot of them have like some sort of nuke. Like you can see that guy has Sunspot, which is gonna be like, very worthless because every hit of that special is going to trigger an indestructible right yeah uh, so that's one of the things you got to be able to recognize and see and i don't actually believe that banning aa and torch every single time is necessary but it just really depends on your roster and theirs yeah it's just kind of how i set it up uh i think in essence a little bit of what you're saying there i need to continue to work on tigra for anyone who, who didn't see it earlier um yeah oh. sorry about that i had to i had to put in a little dig because oh, we're, we're opponents i mean i i want this stream most of the stream is talking interacting you should make fun of me like that it would be weird if you didn't if you're like well you did really well and then that one thing was nice no no make fun um we're bringing in black cat because i want to practice her cool. uh and there's tip right there actually saying yeah correct we're planning to do further work on the rewards thank you tip i appreciate you confirming that for everybody uh yeah, yeah, Paul, I'm with you, man. Uh, PWF saying he hasn't touched BGs yet, but I guess I have to since he has 20 energy refills expiring before the 8.1 release date. Yeah, I know the 8.1 release date hits in a different way because I know a lot of people farmed a lot of resources for it. That is yeah. um, highly understandable. I am paying no attention to my deck at all, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> this is the danger of streaming it, man. <laughs> like. I, but I, I'd much rather I'd much rather play terribly in front of everyone and laugh and have a good time than go play slightly better than terribly by myself and in the chair I'm sitting in. I don't have a chair okay. back there anymore. Uh, stink, stink. That's right. When the tiger matchup came up, I don't know if you were here for. I was like, okay, guys, I'm going to be really serious for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Red Dog. I heard people do that as well. They don't bring torch or AA because they ban them every time. That's what I do, actually. Um, uh, especially on launch days, I like to be present so I can raise, easily raise stuff. Dude, thanks. I mean, there you go. We're talking about caring. Thank you. I mean, the, the analogy I, I'm trying to like bring up too is like, again, I, I was a pretty competitive WoW player for uh, the, like the first couple, I guess, iterations or models, whatever term you use these days for that type of stuff. And like, we knew, like, you don't raid on updates. You don't raid on like new launches. Or if you do, be prepared for there to be bugs. And this was like, a ma I mean, that game was massive, 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 right? So. Yeah, yeah most of the most of that community didn't raid, but there, there were some like crazy people who did it because they wanted worlds first. Did you play that game? No, I played Destiny, but it was, it's very similar yeah. in terms of raid structure, at least. Oh. Isn't there some strategy to banning champs you do have in your deck? Um, uh, T. Jarvis was talking to me about that. He was saying he thought I should still... I need to get a new phone. <laughs> um, they just put out a new iPhone, didn't they? I think, yeah, the 14 or something. 
because uh, I do want to stream the tournament matchups. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm hosting a, a large tournament, actually. Uh, Slay. Slay, you're actually in the same battle group as me, right? Same pool? Yeah, unfortunately. Gonna have be to... fine. Look at this. Look at this. Just place Doom. Uh, I'm make... have to eliminate the host immediately. Sorry, yeah. guys. There we uh... go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Dude, the one time we matched on stream when I stream sniped you, you tried so hard, man. I was so scared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I want to win. I enjoy winning. I mean, you won that one, yeah, because I think you genuinely focused for the first time. <laughs> and you won. <laughs> but, like, I was, I mean, I was pretty focused there, and that SP2, <laughs> that's my phone. That's not the game. I, I know. But I don't know. It was funny because like DLL stopped talking. He was on stream. He saw the matchup. He stopped talking. No one wrote in chat for like the whole matchup duration because everyone really wanted you to beat me. So. <laughs> well, what does that say? <laughs> it says I'm the villain. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think between you and me, it's definitely you. That's the villain. Yeah. Yep. Oh, is Gateskin worth rank five? Uh, if you really love her. You really, really love her, I think, maybe. What do you think? Uh, Guillotine rank five? I think you've got to, you've got to really like her, though, right? Because they're, they're obviously talking about five stars. I, I'm not going to lie, man. I don't know what Guillotine does. Uh, she can do massive bleed damage and reverse that heal off the SP2. If you're missing either one of those, then yeah, she's probably worth ranking. That's that tends to, that tends to be how I look at rank ups. Is can this character do something that something someone in my roster can't do? And if not, then I take them up. Uh, does she work in Act Six Crossbones? No, she isn't poison immune. So, uh, back to the comment about some strategy to banning champs you do have in your deck. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that. Um, like, for example, like I banned Torch and A and they're still in my deck, but there are some situations when I'd want to keep them, and hopefully the opponent doesn't ban them so I have access to them. Uh, but, I don't know, if you can like elaborate on that, maybe I can comment on it. I'm not really sure. Yeah, uh, this fight is not going how I thought it would go, and so uh, at the moment I'm like... I mean, you're going to finish at 100% health. That's pretty good. Am I? Yeah, I think I'm about to get SP3 bar. to death. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Like, the whole thing. Like, nothing was going the way I thought it would go. I guess I did throw the SP2 while she had the armor phase up. Um... Huh. Probably going to lose. That should not happen. That's just terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, what was the question? Uh, uh, so, uh, Cloud of Contempt elaborated, but he says, shorting your own deck to 27 champs as opposed to 30, increasing your probability of drawing champs you want to yeah. draft. Yeah. Mm, yeah, actually, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Is that bug fixed? I'm now, uh, they have me in bronze too. I got to bronze too, but apparently, if you lose, you can drop down back to bronze three. Oh, okay. Then, uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's not do that. How much time? What time is it? All right. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna try to focus a little bit more. You guys know me. I struggle with that. Oh wait, no, no. If you do lose and you drop down to bronze three, that's supposed to happen. It's if you get to silver, then you can't drop down below silver. Oh really? Uh, I thought it yeah, was that's... you just can't drop a bracket no matter what. I'm pretty... Uh, I can go back to and look at the post, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, bronze, silver, gold. Once you get to one of those, like, metal levels, you can't drop below it. Hmm. Okay, well then... I mean, it doesn't guarantee winning, that's for sure, but I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna focus a little bit more here, guys. Yeah, I heard people, like, like very... Like, maybe an hour ago, who had, like, five, six wins, and then were still bronze three. So maybe they did fix that. This is um, I because my roster is so mystic heavy. I uh, Rolk feels like a smart ban, but God, it feels weird to ban him. No, 
It it shouldn't, no. No one's letting me use Quicksilver. Quicksilver's been like immediately banned so frequently. I think I need to up my uh, Hit Monkey gameplay because that was a couple times where he should win fights for me easy, and I've 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 spoiled him. I either haven't played well or. Dude, I can't figure him out either. Honestly. I, yeah, there's something that's not clicking for me with him. Yeah. Um, so they pushed the fix for the stuck ladder about an hour ago. Okay. Oh, right on. Thinking I should have chose Overseer there. It's so hard for me because I want to just test stuff and screw around. And so, like, right there, I should have taken Overseer instead of Scorpion, but it is what it is. We will survive. Cable. I'm trying to put white cables there. Are they running? I think it's like one of those where, like, I only have so many R3s. Let me just chuck cable in there. Got it. Ooh. Crossbones is pretty awesome for this global. I know. Um, and yet, I can't do it. <laughs> oh my god, it's Carl. Where's Carl? What's up, Carl? Who's Carl? I, oh yeah, that's right. Who's Carl? Yeah, I can't do it. I just get too excited to see friends. All right. Um, we'll start off there. Hit monkey. That has completely thrown me off. I did not expect that. Um, yeah, it's a really small health pool, so whoever can nuke him down quick. I hate using Falcon, and I never do. Well, never this, say never. This, uh, this meta in particular is going to screw with me, because it's I think highlighting a lot of champions I tend to not like using. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I think that's going to be the price of BGs, is ranking champs you normally wouldn't. Uh, playing champs that you may or may not like playing. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have sp one with Falcon, huh? I mean, if you knock him down and then you... Yeah. And his evade triggers, and then you have locked on, you can build cruelties. So it's not bad. Yeah. This was not smart use of Falcon in this matchup. Why did I do that? Oh, I mean, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It didn't trigger. Is that because he's locked on? Yep. Uh, Slagmon. Oh yeah, it's because I said I I told them I eat four eggs a day. Um, what's the note? The note is bulwark. That tactic from Alliance War a long time ago, and explosive personality. Hmm. Oh wow! I did not expect to lose that. I was very comfortable with that slow pace. There you go. Uh, how should I spread that up again? What was the thinking on that? Right. Uh, so one of the things you weren't doing is that you weren't hitting Hit Monkey, even though you could mm -hmm. uh, without Locked On. So that would have helped. And also what would have been good is that if you knocked them down and then went into Locked On and then hit them either on block or just hitting them normally, you would have built cruelties. Gone into Locked On, knocked them down. So knock them down, then get into Locked On. Got it. 
Yeah. And, and then the other thing you were doing was just avoiding hitting him altogether without locked on, which you didn't need to do. Oh uh, yeah, good point. Hit monkey is pretty tall. <laughs> that is a rather large monkey. You know, I never noticed that until someone said it. So. Yeah, I had never thought about that before either. Oh yeah, Mysterio is probably going to be a pain. So, for this fight, I would push the SV2 every time. I'm home now, slave in Dermon. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go beat up an old man soon. Work. He's a Dude, I am playing so bad. This is beyond bad. This isn't just my phone either. I'm not going to make excuses. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, he hasn't thrown it. All right. This is just really, really bad. Not going to make excuses. Uh, anyone watch the Hulu series? I heard it was good. Did you watch it, Slay? Uh, dude, I haven't watched anything Marvel in months. Why? Oh, I just, I don't know. I'm just not really interested in it. Okay. Fair enough. I don't really have the time either, if I'm honest. Oh, I won. Look at that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like, I just been playing like absolute garbage. But I'll take a win when I can get it. Um... I think Dragon Man. Is the call here? Yeah. It might force a very slow fight with Void, which is possible. <laughs> they jumped uh, on Void. <laughs> <laughs> it was, that was the quickest I've ever seen someone select a, uh, an attacker. <laughs> so this worries me here, because what? Hulkling might hit the 5% damage cap, right? He hits hard, yeah. And trigger uh, the node? Yeah, the tactic. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Um, hmm. Oh, it's seven percent now. That's a lot better. I mean, well, I mean, not a lot better, but it's still better. You know what I'm noticing, man? Is uh, I am just super late on stuff. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that too. Um, Uh, like the Hitmonkey SP1, when you tried um, to punish that, it felt like you were a couple of seconds late. Yeah, like I, I'm late on all kinds of stuff. Right there, I'm not sure what I did wrong there either. Um, like there's a part of me that's like, what is wrong with me? Right. Yeah, also, there you, you go. Yeah, you want to avoid hitting into block as well because of explosive personality. No, I was... Uh, yeah, I didn't talk about it. I was uh, testing something there if he would trigger the node, and he did. Because you got to hit into block to go unblockable. So I, I just... I, I I don't want to say it was like a good move. I just wanted to test what would happen. No, yeah, fair enough. Um, I mean, I'm trying to figure maybe... out why I didn't go unblockable the first time, though. If oh, uh, it's because of offensive ability accuracy reduction from Warlock's infection, I think. Was it up, though? I don't think it was. I had the tons of buffs. Oh, maybe, yeah, then. Um, I can look back. I forgot that buffs reduce it pretty significantly. Eric, yeah, he might just not... Uh, here, we'll do a couple more. I, I, I don't enjoy playing this poorly. I'm just going to keep playing this poorly. I don't want to make it worse. Infection was up. Thanks, Dap. I appreciate yeah, you telling me. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It's it's based off unique buffs, and at the time you had only two buffs. All right, that's good to know. 
Uh, how is a roster like mine with 27 or 3 going to even come close to the whales in the game? I'm just afraid that I'll never sniff the top leaderboard. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think you'll like my answer. I'm sorry, Faust. Uh, I, the, I mean, part of the game is roster accumulation, and whales are always going to have an advantage. It's just, I'm not... It's just, it is. Like, it's how the game is monetized. Um, so, yeah. What's up, Faust, Ian McG? Faust, I know people who have rosters, like, as small as yours. And they do extremely well. So, so don't don't be discouraged. But also, yeah, rosters do matter a lot. And it's how Kabam monetizes the game. I think I might need to stop. If I don't play better on this one, I think we're going to have to go. Because I am playing like butt. Uh, Mega Sentinel. Like, I think even some of my wins, it's just because, like, something obviously fluky happened. All right, yeah. Just focus. I'll, I'll take care of chat. All you got to do is win this game. <laughs> have you seen how I'm playing? I mean, again, that one time you played against me, you you genuinely did focus and then wiped the floor with me. So just do that again. Do that? Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess Falcon. Do you know, um, I think the only person in the tournament that I've lost to is Nick. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. When you thought he was a hacker that one time? Oh, he was definitely hacking. Yeah. <laughs> He's not, by the way. He's just a great player. Uh, I realize some people and I understand the joke. Um, <laughs> no worries. Way to put pressure, Slay. Uh, it, I, honestly, I didn't think that would put pressure, but now, like, you saying that makes me think I did. Put pressure on who? Me? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. This is like... This is... I don't know how to... This is like my break. This is my reprieve. This is my island of happiness. Uh... Like even if someone comes and heckles me, I'm just like, all right, <laughs> that's cool. Um, but I will want to win when it's tournament time. I will. Yeah, see, see that's that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. I, I don't want to. I don't want a Vega beating Slay part two. Um, <laughs> you if you you better not let me win. I was considering sending because um, I'm in Slayer's group too. I was considering yeah. sending him McDonald's. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. But, but I realized if I do that and I somehow win, people will think I bought them off. So I was like, I don't want, if I win, I don't want it being tainted in any way, shape or form. Dang. Uh, uh, I thought of that. Red Dog Roster is only about 20%. I see, I think they're, a, I think it's hard to put a, a, a percentile on it because, because there's skill too, right? Like if it's a whale who like, knows this game and there are whales like that i think that rosters give them a massive advantage if right. they don't know the game then i mean they can't really do much with it you know there's also luck that you can't really factor into battlegrounds because you can have the greatest roster on earth but get like the worst drafts possible and lose that's true someone with only five stars um i wouldn't say rosters is 20 percent. like if i had to put a percentage on it i'd say like like 50 like it's it's half of this because you can win a lot just based off your roster but that shouldn't stop you from trying your hardest and competing i i think i'm drunk and i just don't know it did you see me just try to heavy him while he had his aura yeah, I, yeah don't worry. i do that all the time man. i'm not gonna lie uh, what like, what would make me think that was a good idea you wanted to put a taunt on him for specials, that makes sense. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, that's it. Uh, five's gonna be plenty. Uh, so Faust is saying, I'm just frustrated because I work five days a week and can only grind maybe a few hours a day when players like KT can grind all night. And day long, I hope Kabam puts a cap on how much you can run BG a day. Well, if they put a cap on it, that just wouldn't be smart for Kabam's sake. But also, 
the thing is is this is just kind of like i'm not trying to be mean but like this is the truth of reality the, the person who can put the most time into something is just always going to be better uh but i guess what you got to learn to live with is that if you have responsibilities those come f those come first obviously and, and if you can't put that much time into the game then don't fret about being the best uh, it would be kind of unfair to KT if he grinded all day and all night and he wasn't that good, even though he put that much time into it. That's a good point. I think that's probably also part of why I don't take, I, I wouldn't take it personally anyways. I'm not sure what the term is, but like, I'm like, I got a full-time job. I got two kids. <laughs> like, I run a company. <laughs> like, I'm pretty proud of how good I am considering all of that. Um, uh-huh. I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm not paying enough attention, and it's going to cost me here. Will uh, Black Cat's Black Cat sabotage is a debuff, so Mole will just shrug it. So I should use Falcon, right? Yeah, Falcon. Uh, or you could play like the really long game of just get him to frenzy, and then you could put a bunch of debuffs on him. So this is a this is again. I'm not I'm not looking for any sympathy on this. What's up, Meta? How you doing, Yusafa? Uh, I'm looking for zero sympathy. This is one of the things about being a, a, a whale sea life is you're used to using the ideal counter, you know? And well, so when you don't have it, like I, I'm not good at fighting Mole Man without someone that's going to punish him or, or cancel out his shrugs. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like you're looking for sympathy. So I will give you some. Please. Feel badly for so, me. Sorry, man. That was quite the slap that you took right there. Uh, save some percentage for draft RNG. Absolutely, Meta. What's up, man? Um, Vega, it's only Monday. <laughs> and it's only 1 o'clock on a Monday. 10% concentrated power of will. <laughs> I understood that reference. Uh, what was their matchup? Did they have a long a long matchup? I honestly don't remember. Yeah, um, that's all right. Well, let me look. Nah, that's fine. It is Kingpin versus someone, but... I keep trying to time uh, Locked On with an intercept, and it's just not going well. Oh, it's it's Omega Sentinel. It's uh, Omega Sentinel versus Kingpin, or the Gosh. other way around. Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> I love battlegrounds. Even if your roster is bigger than mine, you can catch these hands. Yeah, that's the spirit, man. Don't let whales bully you. Uh, Yusafa saying, "Hey Vega, say hello to Dreamin Junior for me." I don't know who he's talking about. Honestly, thank you. Oh, is it? Yeah, surprising. I I know. I know. Uh, I'm surprised that Kingpin did that well. How did they do that? Um, alternating uh, attacks to limit armor ups, and I'm guessing SP one to either tank a lot of stuff with the sixty percent weakness it gets. Or use the ability accuracy to reduce the chance of auto blocks. Yeah, I still felt like that was forty three seconds. Uh, Kingpin with a couple crits hits pretty hard. No, he does. I, I wonder what the sig is. Is there any way for us to check that? Uh, I should again. Why am I doing this? Pay attention. <laughs> I almost guarantee you that if I even get to my SP2, I am going to uh, not transfer the card. <laughs> it's just one of them days. Anyone ever have one of those days? Should you just got... wake up and suck? Yeah. yeah, I should go back to bed. Actually, Yusafa was one of the few whales that beat me in the last beta. Really, Red? Really, Red Dog? Yusafa beat you? That's surprising, man. But it's okay, it happens. He had the skill to back up his rosters. Players like him are in the minority of opponents I face. Where's Clown when I need him to laugh? No, I'm kidding. Yusafa is awesome. Look at this. This is terrible. 
Uh, Domino just took down a null in 38 seconds. Got some nice crit leads. Yeah, she's awesome. I, I gotta get out. I guys, I can't even time an SP2 of eight on on. Uh, <laughs> on this is like, this is. I'm like, I don't even want to play anymore. <laughs> Like that was so Sorry bad. For laughing. That no, was, that was funny. I'm laughing too. Cause what else are you going to do? Like sometimes you just are terrible. My, yeah. Might as well just give up. Like, sorry. I hope you guys were at least entertained by the, uh, by how bad this was. See, life meets oil spill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to look, well, I was doing something. I think it was on stream. I was, it was that birthday stream with DLL. And I told him that I was like, I feel like the left side of my phone is just not registering. Uh, and that's how some of this felt, but I think a lot of this was just me playing poorly. So it is what it is. Um, what do we got? What's going on? Is there... Oh, are, is there people streaming? Are you going to be streaming or anything? No, oh, no. I, uh... Oh, uh, Enzo. Aiden's streaming. Uh well, Enzo, oh man, see, this is the problem. I have so oh many. Oh my god, dude, everyone is streaming. <laughs> yeah, I have so <laughs> many friends streaming right now. Um, what the? <laughs> shh, doink. Right, you just see the left side of YouTube all red because everyone is live. You know what? Um, Enzo's, I haven't, I haven't rated Enzo in forever. Let's, let's rate Enzo, I think. Yeah, I'll what do you, link. well, is he doing, is he doing Battlegrounds? Also doing Battlegrounds, yes. Oh shoot! Did I just start a match somehow? Uh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you know Enzo's doing battlegrounds. Let's go over and say hi to Enzo, guys. He's awesome. Um, Arl, I got to get a new streaming phone. I think a lot of this was just me playing like poop, but yeah, I got to get a new streaming phone. Thank you everyone for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks Slay for jumping on the call. Thank you OG Highland for the donation. We'll try to do more. Uh, sorry, I can't get to more of the comments. And uh, I will. I obviously I need the practice, so we're, I'm going to be streaming this quite a bit. Uh, get the practice going. Get ready for that tournament I'm throwing. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Slay. You have any videos coming out or anything like that, bud? Uh, just mainly just my war vids. That's about it. Those are great. We all learn from them. So thank you. And uh, let's go. Let's go raid um, Enzo. Take care, everybody.